we're rolling. Hello, welcome back to Glam Beauty Life. Hi, I'm Danielle. Danielle the Beauty, and we have Miss Vivian. Vivian Winter. Uh, Vivian Winter is my beauty name. It's all my social media plus Amplify Glamour, which is my mobile spa where I come and provide facials and makeup. So, how are you guys doing? How was your week? We had a good week. Did you have a good week? Yeah, I definitely had a good week. Me too. I had a good week. I had a good Wonderful. week. My grandmother just celebrated her 84th birthday on Sunday. Oh, so, happy birthday to my grandma. Yes. Yeah, she's a little pistol, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. I love the spice. I need all the spice. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, so what do you have going it. on? So, I have a makeup class coming up on, G on January 28th, which is a Saturday. Um, so if you want to email me for details, you email me at hello at DanielleDBD.com. So it pretty much is going to be a seminar, a makeup seminar for the everyday woman. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do your makeup from nuts to bolts. Meaning we started from brows all the way to lip, contour, highlight, everything. So if you guys want to come to my class, please, I would love to have you guys. I want to make it kind of a small class. So it's only going to be 20 be nice. people. So I want to be, you know, intimate because I want everybody to get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So yes, yeah, so just email me hello at DanielleDBD.com to register for the class. What about you, Vivian? What you got going on? So I don't know if you guys know but I'm the makeup 101 instructor at Bennett Bennett Career Institute which is a cosmetology school here in DC shout out to BCI <laughs> yeah we start back actually tomorrow is our first day back we were on a holiday break we had quite a long break about a month or so so we're starting back uh, the makeup 101 class runs from Wednesday through Friday 6 to 9 we talk about everything from skincare to of, of course natural and glam makeup we always do a vision board party we talk about marketing tips my degree is in marketing and communication so we do talk a lot about marketing and branding and social media and really just how to get yourself out there as a working artist so we start back tomorrow I'm really excited mm -hmm. I have a full class this time of 10 if you guys are interested you can always contact the school we do a six-week course and a week in between we roll all year round so I'd love to have you in my course and if you want to be a model let me know Danielle's always a model mm -hmm. um, if you want to be a model and let the girls practice on you let me know we're always accepting models I love um, to actually bring people in so that they can work on people so that they have a, a wide range of diverse audience that they can work on once they hit the streets after they leave my class so if you're interested in being a model just comment on the video and let us know let us know guys alrighty so let's talk about some industry standards we didn't do that last week no we didn't do that last week so what would you say your so industry, industry standard is uh, for me a big standard of mine is sanitation yes um, I had um, a bridal party. There was a doctor. The doctor was was the bride, and her bridesmaids were um, were also in the medical industry. Okay. Um, so they really appreciated that everything smelled so clean and everything was so pristine. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was using like my alcohol, and I was yes. you know using my hand sanitized. I was being very very you know neat and san you know sanitized everything. So it's very important to 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 have everything clean not only so people will know that your stuff is clean but just so you don't you're not cross contaminating mm -hmm. you're not getting people sick yeah you know people you know germ spray really quickly especially yes. when you're using like lipsticks and eyeshadows yeah. even eyeshadows like i sanitize my eyeshadows i sanitize everything yeah so it's very important to really keep a clean kit that is very very important what about you Vin? yeah it is so as an esthetician i'm definitely gonna i'm definitely gonna double on that um sanitation is key especially for makeup artists i know sometimes we get busy and we get in the mode and we go from you know product to product to product but it's really important to kind of use even a quick drying uh, brush spray that you can use in between um the way you sanitize powders that could be like eyeshadow and blushes regular powders highlight just take a tissue and wipe it off the top and that will take that top layer off and sanitize it the way we um, sanitize creams like lipsticks any of those even cream eyeshadows mm -hmm. just take a little bit of alcohol and a tissue give it a wipe and then that's how you sanitize but it's so important even though we're moving and grooving to include sanitation absolutely. in the time that we quote to our clients it's yeah. really important to allow yourself that time absolutely absolutely yes yeah, so let's see here let's start trying to deny it so try and deny is a segment where we tell you okay so we want you to try this and then our deniers will be listen listen we tried it and Hated we it. denied Hated it. it so this time we're going to do a try or deny it beauty trends edition okay yes so my try for beauty trends like there are a lot of beauty trends out there like, yeah it there's gets so crazy. many it on gets like crazy. social media youtube it gets crazy Crazy. A lot of it's for attention, guys. So we we really want to be like it that is. sort of voice as a veteran, as veteran beauty, um, beauty professionals, both Absolutely. of us, and just kind of tell you guys what's worth trying, what's not trying, um, what's worth not trying, and then things that are just so trendy that they're just not even healthy. They're not sanitary. <laughs> they don't make any sense. Oh my gosh! Um, yes. And they're just really for attention. I cannot wait to get to the denial so I can yeah. show you guys what my denials <laughs> are. We make our list every week like and we this. share with each other and we like always laugh like, "Girl, you better preach." Yeah. So first of all, 
let's 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 do the good stuff first. Okay. okay well, actually, I forgot to talk okay. about um not blowing on the brush. So, oh gosh. Yes. Back to the sanitation. Back to the sanitation, real quick. Guys. Yeah, real quick. Don't blow on your brushes, guys. Especially, you know, again, we get in that mode. Say, you know, I don't know. Say this is our brush, and so we're going from product to product or anything like that. Sometimes when we go into our eyeshadow, into our blush, it's a t especially if we have a lot of product on the brush, we have a tendency to kind of just blow and then apply to the client. No, no, no. don't do that. Every time you blow, you literally send micro, micro germs, micro, micro, yes. very small amounts of saliva. And so we want to make sure yes. that we're not transferring that not only to the brush, but to the client's face. Let's go back to the try and deny it though. Who don't do that? Out there. Wait, don't real, do real quick, real quick story. Okay. My, my sister was at the at the hair salon. Shout out to my sister Kai. Hey Kai. We were at. She was at the hair salon, and the girl was like taking the bobby pins. And was like she had gotten her hair Dominican oh, blowout, so, she, so she was putting the body pins in her mouth, like while her she was mouth, while she was, while she was oh, putting okay. it in her hair. Yeah. And Kai was like, "Wait, this is not cool." Yeah. So she told the manager. I think the manager ended up giving her a discount because yeah. her the hairstylist at the time was not being sanitized. Yeah, not being sanitized. And it guys, again, like we understand things happen, especially we get really, you know, we get in rush and we things happen. But that's why I made it an emphasis to say, allow yourself the time yes. to be able to do those small things. So whether you know, usually if it would take you 30 minutes to do a blowout maybe you give yourself an hour book yourself out an hour yes that way you have time to run to the cart grab the bobby pin you have absolutely. time to go back and forth and just absolutely. do what you have to do absolutely. as it translates to makeup that way you have a, you know the time to clean up your space and move on to the next person yes um because again people buy you before they buy your product or before they buy your service absolutely. so if you don't think that clients are looking at your work they space, are looking your work at table, everything you guys. they are they looking at everything. everything they want to see how organized you are how sanitary you are not only because obviously you do a great job they want to see what kind of person you you are as a professional Absolutely. so make sure that you guys again give yourself enough time book yourself out so that you have those couple of minutes in between to get what you need Absolutely. to get done so let's get into <clears throat> those try it okay so some of my i do have some favorite beauty trends that i've seen out here okay so one of my um favorite beauty trends is okay so i love a bold lip i love you you'll see me with the red lip very seldom i'll have a nude lip but you'll see me on a boat lip mm -hmm. a red mm -hmm. a berry a dark yeah, almost in like I a navy blue sometimes mm -hmm. i'm a I'm doing it on a client though um sometimes um because it, it's kind of hard to kind of get that lip line yeah like, perfectly really yeah. especially if you're doing for photo shoots so my trend would be to use a concealer brush mm -hmm. angle, or an angle brush or, like brow, or an angle brush, brow or brow, brush. Yep. and you put some concealer on it and you just want to clean up the lip line yes. so that lip line is super clean yes. and looking popping and the lips are really popping out in the in the photos and yes yeah. And I would go further to say use a lip liner because even oh, yeah. though we both have oh, yeah, deep yeah, yeah, lips, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, even though we both have deep lips on today, I definitely still use my current liner from Mac. Oh, it doesn't absolutely. have to be any name brand or whatever, but I did use a liner just to define because again, you can see the difference. I mean, you can oh, yeah. really see a difference when you have that beautiful sharp line, yeah. especially with that concealer right afterwards. Oh, it just looks so crisp and so clean. Again, give yourself that extra two seconds or absolutely. five minutes yes. to be able to do that. Your client will appreciate it, and girl, you will be yeah. out here. So even if you're doing your own makeup, you know. If you don't feel comfortable doing the concealer, take a Q-tip and just kind of clean up the bottom of your lip. Yes. And then you'll be rocking that bold lip. And I actually want to add another tip on top of that. Sometimes we'll take the Q-tip and it'll actually spread, especially if we use a red or deep. But dip the Q-tip in your color powder oh, yeah, there you or go. your color concealer, something yeah, yeah, yeah. like that, your color, whatever. Anything that's your color, clean it up and it's perfect yes. every time. So, some women are afraid to wear bold red lip. I believe that a bold red lip is universal. Yes, it really is. Especially it can go blue from, red, because it yeah. goes for everybody. Oh my gosh, yes. So it could go from lighter than Vivian, like two shades, three shades lighter than yeah. Vivian, to like two, three shades darker than I am. Yeah. It all depends on your lip liner. Yeah. Are you doing, would you agree with that though? Yeah, no, absolutely. So for me, I love I think that Ruby Woo by MAC is a universal red. Yes, it is a blue red. And when we it's say blue, blue red, red, we mean when you look at that red, you can't see any orange, any brown, any muddy, absolutely. any ruddy, any pink. You only see red. Yes. And so as far as the color spectrum goes, a blue red is considered a true red, which is why it works for everyone, any yes. ethnicity. Yeah. So So um I will do um like a vino lip liner. Yeah. Um, I'll do like if it's someone's dark, someone that's darker skin, like an Alec Wegg, mm -hmm. or you do I'm um, a Night Moth. Yeah. Um, so you really, it's really about that lip liner, guys. Don't yeah. think, don't think you just have to do it straight out of the tube when you're looking like you, you just yeah. ate a popsicle. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> so that's the 
the thing is like that lip liner is really going to neutralize that lip and so I used to work for MAC for 10 years. I'm a long, long, long standing um, employee of MAC and so what we would see all the time is girls would come in for these popping lipsticks but of course they didn't want to buy the lip liner. Of course. But it's like you have to have the lip liner you to have to have the look. Liner. And to what she was saying, it doesn't matter your complexion, just match the lip liner to that. So if you guys are familiar with just use MAC because everyone knows, if you guys are familiar with like a cherry lip liner or anything like that, cherry mm -hmm. lip liner is going to match that Ruby Woo exactly. But like she said, what if she's Alec Weck? What if she's super deep? Well then you want to take the liner deeper just to match her and neutralize a little bit more. Absolutely. So that's really the key. So we'll move on from that. Okay. So let's just skip to I deny it. All right. Because <laughs> we got the... Woo! Woo! Okay. <laughs> so, one beauty trend that I saw was to make your lips fuller. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm seeing those videos. Have you guys seen those ads on Facebook where the... I'm going to let you do it. So, I saw this one video where this is contraption that you can get from Amazon. You put your lips into the contraption. And you, it sucks your lips. And when you take it off, it makes your lips bigger. It's basically a suction cup that blood rushes all the blood stop to it. your lips. That turns Y'all stop. Yes. Don't, you, don't do that. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it right now. Yeah. Listen, if you want to make your lips look fuller, a lip gloss. Just, right? And, right, lip right. gloss in the center. And also that lip liner. It goes and a long way. You know, we talk about it in my class. And I'm sure Danielle maybe will cover it in her class as well. Um, when you use a lip liner, you can actually create any shape that you Absolutely. want. Absolutely. So if someone does, you know, maybe they have not full lips. And they can outline just a little bit around. Or just like me, maybe you're, you're more full on the top and you're not as full on the bottom. So I actually falsify my bottom just a little bit more than I do my top. So you can really play around and create dimension within the lips. Of so course. don't be afraid to let that work for you. But please, whatever you do, please don't do that guys that is not healthy that it's is not healthy doesn't feel good it doesn't look good um and we just want to make sure nobody does it we're here to yeah, help you please stop it we're here to help you okay <laughs> so i'm just gonna keep going yeah i'm gonna talk about the concealer that's too oh, light yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm gonna oh, talk about the concealer that's too light okay so again what right like i'm dead so what we talk about in my class at bennett as well is um layering the concealer so we all see that sort of concealer where you can see that glow the donald trump glow if you will his is from like sun tanning i know but this happens in real life you'll see these like Instagram girls or whoever these social media stars and they'll be like Danielle's complexion and they'll use a concealer that's like this complexion because they want it to be lighter under there and while I understand that it's best to start with her actual color com uh, color concealer and then put the light on top it's so important just for color theory and not to get too much into it anytime that we put um, like white over top of black and we put light over top of dark it shows gray so that's why sometimes you can still see the dark circles you can still see all of that because you got to gradually build up yes. especially if you have discoloration under the eyes so takeaway tip for not the concealer not being too light is if you love that light and popping look nothing wrong with it build up to it use yes. your color and then the lighter color on top of that yes. don't just go with the lighter color and any of my students comment below because you guys know we've done the testing class where we do the one eye and one eye and they always see the difference so. yes and if you have a friend who's wearing that light concealer <laughs> tell her yeah okay? tell her don't, don't let it real be friends up. don't let your friends wear bad makeup yes. okay <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's really because and I don't think it's because people don't want to I think it's because they just don't know how to but again there's yeah. your tip use your color and then something lighter on top yes okay. tell a friend okay <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend so yeah. <laughs> I know we both so, 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 so real quick my last one because we got to keep moving we got to move on yeah we do my last one would be um I saw this video where this girl used a spoon to do her wing liner why why are you using kitchen utensils to do your makeup? Yeah. It's only for attention, you guys. Don't think that what you see on social media is real life. Yeah. And that's for anything. You know what I mean? Like Not just can, beauty. Oh, my gosh. Not just beauty. Like, what you see on social media, part of the time... Because mm -mm. a lot of times the, the artists or the, I'm sorry, they're not even artists, the beauty um, enthusiasts, there shall we, we call them, they are sponsored. So the reason that you see them use 10 products to get to the same end goal where a real makeup artist will use two to get to that end goal is because yes. they have to sell those products. So Absolutely. they have a quota that they need to meet. So that's why you guys are seeing them use this and that and the other because, again, they're trying to sell it. Yes. But if you talk to any makeup artist, we'll just tell you the shortcut and just go straight where you right. need to go. I'm all about a shortcut. Yeah, definitely. All about and, you, and it's not even the shortcut. You just don't need to do those many He's steps. It's intimidating and it's a lot and you still get to the end goal and it's way more beautiful because we can still see skin. Listen, put the spoon away. Please. Yeah, just put it put away. Put the spoon away. Don't do it. Alright, so what about the contour placement? Okay, so... You want to talk about that? I, I love a good contour. Yeah. Okay? I have one on today. She has it on today. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. There, I shouldn't be able to see your contour line. I shouldn't be able to see where the placement of your highlight. Because guess what? 
it looks clownish. Mm. It doesn't look blended. Like it's all about blending also. Yes. Like keep blending until you can't. Even blend when you anymore. feel like you blended too much, keep, keep blending. blending. <laughs> because the more blended you you know it is, the more natural, the more beautiful it is. And even if yes. you want that glam look, it still doesn't have to be natural, but you keep blending and that thing will literally fade into oblivion. Like you will have the blend of life. And y'all know, y'all know your friends have their makeup looking real crazy and you be like, Yes, no, tell her to blend right. some more. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to see the and highlight. When we say blend, I want to make a note too. Don't take the brush that you have the product on and keep blending because all you're doing is applying more product. Absolutely. Just use a completely dry brush that has nothing on it and get to blending. Or if you don't have enough brushes to where you can switch brushes out, clean keep it, it keep time, going. Wipe that joint yeah. off and just blend keep it going. on. Just keep going. Please. All right, cool. So um, I don't know if you want to do an update on the Uber guy really quick. Okay, so yeah, update um, on the Uber guy. The Uber guy is... Okay. Gone. So let's just move on. <laughs> and, um, let's just do like the relationship one next okay, time. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that the next time. time. So you want to talk about, because especially because this is our last week. Okay, we have so to this talk is about our it. last week with one of my favorite women in the whole white world. First lady. Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. She's beautiful. So I have been holding back tears ever since like the yeah. election and everything. Yeah. Um, but this past week has been amazing as far as the Obamas have been concerned in the media. Uh, Michelle Obama last week gave her final speech and then, you know, President Obama gave his final speech and then yesterday they were in D.C. and they went to like this homeless shelter and played with kids. And yeah. This, it was like, that was when I cried. Yeah. Because President Obama walked on the playground and the kids were like, President Obama! Yeah, they Obama. Loved him. Like they, they spotted him immediately and they were so excited to see him and I was like bawling. Yes. And it shout out so to Carl sweet. Ray for her oh, be doing her. He's amazing. Listen. Yeah. He's amazing. And he was just like featured in what magazine he was that? He was Cosmo. Featured. So he was in mm -hmm. Cosmo magazine. Yeah. And it was a beautiful interview. You guys, if you haven't seen the um the interview, please just check it out. Check it out. He talks about how, you know, he has been doing her makeup since two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. Um, how he's had to do her makeup on an airplane yeah. when it was turbulence. Yeah. He talks about his favorite um looks that he's done for her, which is the last steak dinner yeah. steak dinner of twenty sixteen. Yeah. But she had that beautiful gold rose gold yeah, dress on. And her hair had like that slide that that side suit bang. Yeah. She's Honey child, and her skin was popping. It's gorgeous. Listen, I love her. When I saw her, I was like, I get got goose. I get goosebumps yeah, now. Just thinking like, about her. Oh my god, I love a rose gold dress. Yes. All right, cool. So we only have a couple minutes left, guys. So we're just gonna save like some of the things we want to talk about this time to next time. But somebody wrote in, and somebody said that you know <laughs> I started a business. Now what? Now what? Like, what do I do now? What do you, what do you My best suggestions, and I'm going to make this super quick, network with any and everybody that you know. If any and everyone that's around you, tell them about your business. Tell them what you offer. Tell them how they can contact you. Yes. Three things. What you do, for, what can, you can do for them, how they can contact you, and then, you know, really go from there. Absolutely. Also, marketing. Social media is free. It's the best advertisement it's that you best. can also use. So, tell people, you know, be genuine with people. Engage in your followers. Engage with customers. Maybe do, like, sip and sees, or maybe do things where you can kind of do business launches where people can get to know you and your service and product. Just put yourself out there without fear and just go girl confidently yes. what about yours so mine would be reach out to your family members if you're kind of just starting out tell your family members what you're doing and tell them how passionate you are about it and ask them to you know kind of help you you know uh, uh spread the word yeah. you know post whatever you're posting on their social media you know what i mean yeah so i think that would be a great tool also use your family members because if they yes. don't know then they can't how are they share, supposed to recommend so, you? Yeah. Right. So we'll just kind of wrap up with how you can contact us. My name is Vivian Winter. It's at Vivian Winter. It's Winter with a Y. Um, and you can reach me at 240-604-6042 for makeup and facials. So I am Danielle, Danielle D. Beauty on all social media. You can reach me on Facebook, Instagram, my email Everything. is Danielle, hello at DanielleDBeauty.com. This is Glam Beauty Life. Yes. We really appreciate you guys tuning in. And yes. we will see you guys next time. We love you. Bye. Bye.